Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to create this liquid mash trick or mash liquid or whatever you want to call it. Today I want to share with you a domestic online course from Michael Johnson, one of the greatest and most talented graphic designers nowadays, who's also the author of the books Branding and Problem Solved. What I love in this course is that he's showing you a lot of case studies, how he's taking the brand strategy and transforming the data into clever design. He's gonna teach you how to solve problems in a business with strategy and most importantly gonna see how he does it in practice with the biggest companies out there such as Mozilla, Duolingo, University of Cambridge and many more. He's gonna give you enough clarity that design is not just this cheap logo thingy, it actually can increase the company's revenues a lot if it's done in the right way. There's actually case studies of this stuff. In this course, you're gonna find simplified strategy, rebranding, verbal communications, a lot of case studies, and some really good book recommendations. If you wanna see more, click the link in the description and check it out. All right, first thing, let's select the pen tool, which is located right here. And we're just gonna make some blobs. You might think it's, you know, it's kinda of easy to make a blob. I mean, a liquid trick like this, but it takes a little bit of skills, you know? and uh, I suggest you practice with the pen tool. All right, so in order to edit this thing, uh, you can select the direction select to, uh, direct selection tool from, from here, select the anchor point and just, you know, re-customize it. So it took a little bit of time until I <laughs> designed this simple form. Okay, from now we're gonna deselect the stroke. So go to the stroke, click on the stroke, click on the none, and I'm gonna, you know, for now I'm gonna select the color. I'm gonna go with the, actually I'm gonna go with the neutral gray so I can see some shape in there. All right, so let's select the mesh, the mesh tool. If you don't have the mesh tool, you can click on these three dots and somewhere here it needs to be the, uh, mesh tool if you know if you don't have it in the menu all right select it and click somewhere here and as you can see it already starts like this like uh, the lines are not straight it tries basically to, to adapt to these wavy curves and lines and uh it won't look the same like how you, how i showed you basically in some tutorials like how to work with mesh where you have just a square and you're tr trying to put there the, the these mesh uh, squares think it came out pretty wild from here we just need to color this in and modify these okay so I just gonna select some of the points and because they're out so it won't be perfect you need to rearrange these in some different ways okay just so basically just select a dot an anchor point here and recolor it however you want it for example some some like this and do it with all of the points so uh, it's full of colors uh, <laughs> these are some of the trendy colors my followers like a lot and from here you can select the direct selection tool from here and just select an anchor point and you know drag it and you know mix it up to become even more abstract <laughs> Alright, so this is what it came out at the end. It looks pretty interesting. You can complicate it however you want, like make it even really more complex, like add more lines, add more uh, grids in there and see what you're gonna get. So yeah, basically this was it. Thanks for watching and if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos. Have a good one. Bye bye.